everybody. Hey, this is Courtney from Dandelion Branding. Welcome back to our channel if you're back or welcome if this is your first time here. Um, if you'd like to stick around for a while, then subscribe to our channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about Shopify page builders, and I'm going to be comparing two of the leading builders, which are Shogun and Pagefly. I'm going to be talking a bit about what these page builders do for you if you're building a store. And I'm also going to dive a little bit into both and show you around the back end as if you were building a page for your shop. So to start off, I want to say that both of these platforms are really powerful and both can absolutely help you to make a more customized Shopify store. The main purpose of a Shopify page builder is to essentially give you a little bit more flexibility with how you are designing your site. If your site is hosted on Shopify, then you may very well know that your theme can be a little bit limiting in terms of design. And if you're new to Shopify, then that is definitely something to know before signing up because that is a pretty big limitation. There are some fantastic themes out there that are really powerful, but they only offer you a few different kind of blocks that you can play around with and kind of move around uh, to actually create something that has more of a custom design. But the power of these page builders are that you really have complete freedom and you have total control over how your pages actually look on the front end. So it really opens up an endless number of possibilities for what you may want to do with your store. So, so both of these apps are really cool for just kind of getting some of that control back and really being able to more freely customize your pages the way that you want them to look. One thing to know prior to jumping in to either of these is that when you're adding a page builder to your store, you can experience a little bit of slowness on your overall site. Your site is now loading more and so it's going to be a little bit heavier and it, so it might affect your page speed. So if that's something that is very, very important to you, then that is something to note. Um, with that said, it's not majorly significant as long as you are not uh, kind of custom building every single page. Um, if used within reason, then it shouldn't affect your page speed in a way that would really harm your customer's experience on your site. So if you're looking into these types of apps for your Shopify store, that means that you're out of position where you really want to create something more customized. So that's a really cool place to be. And that's very, very exciting. And I hope that this helps. So I'm going to start out by talking about Pagefly. So Pagefly is really unique because it actually offers a free option, which is kind of unheard of in terms of actually of something that is that powerful. The free version doesn't get you a whole lot. You'll see that it is a little bit limiting. Um, you're not able to add certain um, widgets but if you are looking to just build a page that is just informational and maybe has a few links and buttons um, but doesn't actually feature any products then the free version can definitely do that for you the, the free version of pagefly can help you to create a totally customized page that is uh pretty pretty basic but um it's it's a nice it's a nice place to start if you're wanting to kind of just play around with a page builder in general. So that's really, really cool. Um, even the paid options with Pagefly are more affordable. So this is really a fantastic tool if you are just starting out with Shopify or you're in that period where you are making a bit of income, but not a ton to really invest in some of the um, higher priced monthly costs for your apps, but still want to make a customized page. Pagefly really is 
uh, pretty, pretty perfect for, for that. In terms of the actual user interface, it is really, really simple and it is incredibly easy to use. So it is really nice if you are just getting started and this is kind of your first interaction with a drag and drop page builder. It's a really simple, very basic and clean user interface. You can also see here that there are a ton of templates, which you can preview and see on different devices. So I'm just kind of browsing through the template library that's here just to find one that is fun to play around with. <laughs> and this one looks pretty neat. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of see what that looks like on mobile. And from this view, um, you can't see much, but this design looks kind of fun. So um, I'm gonna try it out. All right, so here is what it looks like when you first start to edit a page when you're working with one of the templates. Um, as you can see on the right hand side is where you're going to be doing a lot of the editing. So you can um, move from the general area to styling. Um, you can really with every element, you can do a lot of customization here. You can add background images to sections. You can even do some custom CSS if you would like to. Um, you can see that areas are kind of broken into by sections, then rows and columns. You can navigate to different areas by like clicking up at that top. And um, yeah, some, some of the different blocks that are here will need some customization, um, but this will get you started. You'll see um, that there are a lot of different widgets and little blocks that you can add and play with. And, um, you have a lot of control with regards to making your pages, uh, mobile responsive. So that's fantastic. Um, and it, this, this app really does the trick. Um, it is so easy to use. It is very beginner friendly and it really allows for you to, to really simply make some unique looking pages. And it allows for you to make not only regular pages, but you can also customize your home page, product pages, or collections pages. So that is great. You aren't limited to the type of page um, that you can edit, um, but some of the features like having product listings are on the paid options. Um, you'll see as you kind of continue <laughs> to move up in the pricing options, you'll have more and more functionality, of course. So that's a bit about Pagefly. Uh, I really like this app. I think that it is a really great bang for your buck. I think if you are kind of just getting started and wanting to build like an affiliate landing page or um, a really hyper-focused sales page that you can put out there or maybe run ads to, then this program can definitely do that for you and you will not be breaking the bank with any sort of high monthly price tag. Next up, we have Shogun. So this app is a little bit more in terms of a monthly price tag. There is not a free version. As of right now, the lowest monthly cost for Shogun is 39 US dollars per month. So that is definitely a bit higher than Pagefly. So that's something to be aware of. Shogun is pretty highly rated around the internet, but I will say that it does have a bit more of a learning curve to it. When you are first starting out, um, 
if you're trying to start from scratch and create a page, then it can be a little bit harder to sort of navigate. Um, but with that said, the amount of templates that Shogun offers is pretty cool. Um, and a lot of their templates are really modern and really sleek. And so that's definitely a really nice place to start if you're wanting to create a custom page um, and then just kind of like editing elements from there. Um, starting from scratch is a little, uh, it, it, it may take a little bit more time to get familiar with all of the functionality of this app. While PageFly, on the other hand, is pretty simplistic, so it's it's pretty cut and dry. Like it's, it's I think that the learning curve for PageFly is uh, a little less. So with Shogun, you can also customize not only pages but blog um, blog templates and collection templates as well. So that's really cool. Um, it works well within your theme. Like it, it still has your themes header and footer, but those are removable if you wanted to make a really streamlined sales landing page. So that's really cool. That's just an easy toggle option. So I'm gonna go ahead and play around with this particular template. So, from this page here, it um, you know it's pretty pretty similar to PageFly. There are sections and blocks that you can edit. All of the editing features are on that right hand side. Um, you can also drag and drop those widgets on the right hand side onto your page um, or just click any element that's there to see what sort of customization options you 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 have and yeah you can you know it's it's pretty standard features and functionalities but you can do really you can customize every single element that you are working with on your pages so that is cool it has lots of flexibility there Yeah, there. Um, so there's a lot of the standard options, you know, um, kind of editing your columns, um, adding in full width sections, adding in text blocks, things like that. You can also add in, you know, of course, buttons and your particular uh, collections and highlight products. There are a lot of options, and I think that that might contribute to the learning curve when you begin using this particular app. There's just so much flexibility in design that um, when you're starting from scratch, it can just be a little overwhelming, but that's why these templates are really fantastic to get you started. And up at the top, you'll see the mobile responsive versions. Um, it gives you that little disclaimer that any changes you make on mobile will also uh, transfer over to the other devices as well. So that is something that's different from PageFly. With PageFly, you can add different background images for mobile versus desktop, which I find really nice. Um, so if you're ever working with like a hero image and you want to ensure that it's fully viewable on both desktop and mobile, um, you can add different images. With Shogun, I do not believe that that is an option. Not that I've encountered at least. But uh, these templates are really nicely mobile responsive. Um, you'll see, again, there's all of those widgets there on that right hand side. That's everything that they can um, that you can add to your pages. And it also has the structured blocks too. So those are pre-built blocks that you can just quickly add to your page. I think that's a really great functionality. Um, just really easy to add new blocks that are already uh, proven to be really functional. So 
now you've seen both of these apps in action. Um, there really isn't a clear like, winner in terms of one being significantly better than the other. That's they they really have very similar functionality. I think the biggest differentiator is really just price. So if you're just getting started out and you want something a little bit more affordable, then PageFly is definitely the answer for you. But if you are looking to kind of expand your store and you're wanting to create more custom pages and things, then Shogun could be the option that works best for you. Ultimately, you should be conscious of what your end goal is. If you're only looking to create a few pages, then you can definitely do that in PageFly um, at a really affordable cost. But if you want something with a little bit more functionality, with it's a little bit faster, um, your pages will load a little bit smoother, then Shogun is definitely a, a good option for you. But ultimately, both can definitely work for your business if they are designed and optimized in a way that really helps to clearly communicate about your product and drive folks to make that purchase. So we hope that with either choice, you will be able to generate some nice sales for your store. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Again, please like and subscribe this video if you found it helpful. Really appreciate it. Um, and I will talk to you next time. All right. Thanks, guys.